I just can't get over that. Like this, you guys, like, magnet. Do, 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 do. I just can't get over these boxes. They're so nice. That gives you a little bit of a clue what we're doing on Fluff Beard Monday. Fluff Beard Monday, does that make sense? Fluffy, fluff, fluffy Beard Monday. That's how I'm rolling today. I got the beard fluffed. Going with the burly beard type look today because it is the week of Christmas. And the week of Christmas, what I wanted to do was I wanted to highlight some different things that I really enjoy about the beard community. And as you can see, today we're highlighting Renewed Man Grooming. Now the reason that I chose Renewed Man to highlight on this particular day and this particular week, um, not only is the owner behind the company, uh, Jared, a an amazing uh, Christian man, but I just can't get over the packaging, the presentation that they have, and the tips and tricks and the advice, the positive criticism, the critique that I want to give his company. And I want him to be able to see this, know that all the hard work he put in is appreciated, but also where he could take his company going into 2020. Not only that, but Renewed Man Grooming will be the company in January for the Beard Trend Reviewers, where five of us guys get together, we all get a package from Renewed Man, we review them, we unbox them, we give some stuff away to you, and we have a discount code for you in the live stream at the end of the month. So end of January, you're going to get a live stream with Renewed Man, you're going to get a discount code from the Beard Trend Reviewers, and you're going to get five different opinions. So not only do I want to give you a little bit of my opinion today, but I also want to show off some of this amazing packaging and some of the, the stuff that comes in a box when you get it from a nude man. So you can see right off the bat here, you have this awesome sleeve box, refine your style, renew your man. And the mantra is all about being a renewed man. So you can use these oils, you can renew your beard. That's the tagline, renewed, refresh, redo, however you want to define renew. I am so good at these little jingles, I'm telling you. So when I got some stuff from Jared and Renew Man, I got a, this little letter here, and it tells me um, the the scent profiles on here, which is awesome. It's always nice to have scent profiles on something. Now, I'm surprised I didn't lose this paper. So again, first bit of advice is, where's the scent profile on the bottle? Scent profile on the bottle. There it is. Oh my gosh, it's on the bottle. So, one thing done. And I'm going to actually go through and critique these bottles of oil here in a second. But I want to show you what else I got in the box. I got a sticker and a guitar pick with his logo on it here. So that was pretty awesome. And then I got this pamphlet. It says the Renewed Man Grooming. And it kind of tells you in here just some cool different things. Um, how you can take care of your beard. Um, ignore the haters. I definitely like that one. Um, how to apply beard oil, beard balm, What a little bit about them, um, the quality behind the ingredients that they use, and then you finish with that reading. So I like to set this on my sink when I am um, taking a man break. I can just pick this up and just do some homework, and then it's still right there. And then when Maddie takes a, a woman break, she can be, oh, beard grooming stuff. Tyson needs some beard oils and it kind of just implants that seed in her head that I need some more beard products, right? I mean, that's always a good thing. Be quiet, phone. Anyway, so back to Renewed Man. So I want to look at the oils first and foremost. And when I see the oils, the first thing I see is something super classic, artistic, and unique. And the first one that kind of catches my eye is you can get a bottle like this. So you have a frosted amber bottle with an amazing flat black label with some shiny foil print on it. And you have a twist top cap. Oh, you don't like twist top caps? Hey, we got a solution for you. You can then pick up a dropper stop cap if you would like. You can choose. You can choose. Oh, you don't like those either? You'd rather a pump top? Well, we got that solution for you as well. So you can pick uh, when you're on the site 
which type of top that you prefer. And I kind of like having those options for people because I've heard good things and I've heard bad things about all of them. Myself, I prefer pump tops like this. I just find them easier um, if it's a good pump top and doesn't run down the bottle. Uh, eyedropper would be second and then the drip stoppers uh, would be last. And mainly it's because I can't smell through them very well. And, you know, like doing that a million times, I just don't, it's just not my preference. It's not my preference. The faithful preference is not drip stoppers, but I do really like this look of this cap on here. I think it's super unique. Now, when I'm looking at the label, this is something that I would put on my shelf, right? Like it looks classic. It looks unique. It reminds me of something old school, um, but he does really good stuff with the labeling. Um, he has the size on there. He has the scent profile on there um, you have a little bit about uh, the company you have the the 12 month uh, made in michigan the natural ingredients you have the ingredients on here you got a how to use on here handmade small batch so i really like everything on the label i don't know what i could really ask for more on the label you got the scent name um, scent profile ingredients and when we talk about ingredients we have apricot oil Almond seed oil, jojoba oil, avocado oil, fractionated coconut oil, argan oil, castor oil, and essential oil blend. So for those of you that only use that essential oil blend type products, this is for you because he only uses essential oils for now. Because I've been begging him to experiment. Just begging, like, please, please just experiment with fragrance oils. And it's not that I necessarily have anything against essential oils. I think you can just come up with some very creative scents with these uh, with fragrance oils, and you can get a duration um, that a lot of us like. Me personally, essential oils, fragrance oils doesn't really matter to me. I just want something that smells good and lasts for a while. If you like the essential oils only thing, they got that for you. So oils look good, amazing conditioning ingredients uh, apricot being the number one is awesome almond seed being number two awesome there's argan oil castor oil avocado oil coconut oil jojoba oil hojoba jojoba 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 somebody once told me that you mix the h's and the r's but only the first j with this h but no maybe it was the second j we're just going back to jojoba. That's the way I've always said it. It's jojoba. It's jojoba on this channel. We're going to call it jojoba. Okay. Jojoba. I really love these labels and these bottles, though. It's super cool, super unique. Then you get on over into the the bombs here. So you have a two-ounce black twist top bomb. And that label just follows right over. Such amazing detail on the label here. Now, I would love to tell you what's in here, um, but unfortunately, and this is um, nothing against the company or anything right now because I know he does have stickers, uh, he forgot to put them on mine um, as he was sent them, sending these testers out. He forgot to put them on. But go ahead and take a look at this here. And I can smell it just by twisting off the top. So I get a nice, good smell. You get a nice, good look with it. Um, I think it's going to feel good in beard, and I'm going to uh, test that out with the Beard Trend reviewers and give you an FRS ranking at that time when I do my review for them. So that way we're not having an FRS ranker here in uh, 2019 and then reviewing them in January again. So I'm going to roll this on over into January so I can finish up the Beard Gents Challenge, get this renewed stuff, renew my beard at to start the new year, year, year. You, you see what I did there, right? We're starting a new year, which is another year on my beard that I'm not going to shave, which would be a year, and I'm going to renew it to start the year with Renewed Man. Now, not only that, but he did send me this amazing stand bag here that he made to just proudly display the products. Now, if we want to review that super high quality wood, it looks nice. There's no slivers. I can rub my hand across it and not get any slivers. He did an extremely well job sanding that down and staining it. Let me tell you. But 
one of the biggest things that I just cannot get over is the man behind the company. This guy wants to succeed. He is a uh, Christian man. We've talked about faith. Uh, we've talked business. He's very open to building a friendship and, and receiving feedback. Now, I am kind of waiting. Another part of the waiting to do the FRS ranker is I know, I know he's experimenting around with a fragrance oils. He might not admit it, but I know he is. And I really want to get a scent that he comes up with with fragrance oils to really give him the full benefit of the of of having products out because I could give you an FRS ranker right now and you know so if I were just to shout one out um, I I would say he's probably going to be around an eight point nine um, to a nine just based off ingredients look and feel scent profiles but I think if he comes out with a fragrance um a blend that just truly trips my trigger or less i can really get that length of duration to go up and he could see a 9.0 or a 9.1 something on the frs scale that's a little bit higher and he could be the first company of 2020 to start us off do speaking of that do we start the frs scale do like do we blank it out and say 2020 do we start at 2020 or do we just keep a running list or do we just like this was 2019's list this is 2020's list write that down in the comments below do you want to see a different frs ranker for 2020 or do we just keep the normal one going if you don't know what the frs ranker is it is e ranker that i can rank out the companies on my own type scale so i can rank them every week on the same products the same qualities so i can give them to you in the most fair accurate way and you can find it at faithfullybearded.com slash let's not get into slashes just go to faithfullybearded.com and at the top there's a spot that says frs scores and discounts which will also lead you to the discounts not only that but i do have some links in the description below that get you some discounts and some other stuff down there and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell and Thumbs it up, thumbs it down. It doesn't really matter to me. I just like to see the interaction. So if you want to thumbs it down, I mean, just pick one, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I don't really care. None of them bother me either way. So what I would really like is just some comments, some some interactions, and let me know what you think about Renewed Man. And if you've talked to him, let me know what you think about this presentation because I think it's pretty darn well. So I guess this is the second typed impressions, but I wanted to dig a little bit more into detail and give you a little bit more of my thoughts and update you because it's been a while since I unboxed this and I don't necessarily have an exact review out yet. And then with him jumping on beard trends, I kind of recruited him to do beard trends uh, for January. So to see what five other five guys think of this one company is a huge opportunity for all five of us to help this company uh, get their name out there a little bit, but also give him feedback from five different guys on what he can improve, what he could change, how everything is, and gets him some time to get some inventory built up for you guys and get everybody through the holidays. So I hope you guys have a blessed and Merry Christmas. Remember that this channel is here because you guys that subscribe, watch, participate, and all the amazing companies that help get us this way. If you tuned into the Beardies, thank you very much. We are going to go into 2020 looking for the Beardies of 2020. That's my mission, to find the Beardies of 2020. There we go. And to grow together with you as a community. So thank you all for joining. If I don't talk to you before Christmas, have yourself a merry little Christmas. Enjoy your family because that's what it's about. And until I talk to you guys again soon, God bless you all.